favorite sausage swaggerties brats with a delicious amazing cabbage casserole you're gonna want to try this one hey y'all i'm tammy the cameraman is chris and this is collard valley cooks where we cook like our mamas did today we are making some swaggerties brats super simple then we're gonna make a cabbage casserole so these are both gonna go in the oven while we work in the house So these are swaggerties, and we're gonna open them up, and it tells you to poke holes in them. And we're just cooking for me and Chris, so if you're making a lot for a crowd, you can always cook more. Now some people do brown these first, but what I'm doing is I'm putting them in an aluminum pan so that it gets nice and warm and hot. It'll help brown the sausages too. If you put it in a pan like this, they won't brown as pretty. So you wanna use aluminum when you do these, and that way you'll get a nice, pretty broth. Now I'm just gonna flip them over, and poke holes in this side. All right, we're gonna lay them in here. And I poke plenty of holes with a fork. But you could do the same thing. All right, so there you that's all there is to it, y'all. That is it. All right, we're going to put this in the oven, and we're going to put our cabbage together and get it in here, too. But we'll let that start cooking. Now, for your cabbage casserole, you're going to chop up more onion. And I'll just use what pepper is left. Okay. Okay. For our casserole, you're going to take a cup of milk. And this is not a real big casserole, so if you're feeding a really big crowd, you may want to double it. One can of cream of mushroom. If you don't like cream of mushroom, use cream of celery or chicken or whatever you got that you like. Now, some people make a homemade roux or gravy, white gravy, but this is a shortcut. I mean, to me, it's the whole purpose in making the casseroles. Get it in the oven quick. We're going to put an egg in it. We're just going to beat it good. And some people also pre-boil their cabbage. And we're not doing that either because we want to do this quick. Let's hop over here and chop up some cabbage. And I'm just going to chop up enough to make a casserole in this, in this dish that I have. All right. And I think about half of this will do it. Lord, this is a tight cabbage. Look how tight it is. Sometimes you get a cabbage and the leaves are really far apart and you don't really get that much cabbage. And I'm gonna tell you, you get plenty of cabbage with this one. It is thick, thick. I was wondering why I was having a hard time going through it. I already sharpened my knife. And this is a casserole, so I'm gonna cut it a little smaller. All right, I'm going to spray my pan a little bit just because this is going to have cream and stuff in it while it's baking, and I don't want it to be hard to clean up. So we're just going to take our cabbage, put it in our dish with our onion and the pepper that was left from our brats. Mix it up good. 
and sprinkle it with salt. And it doesn't take a lot since you're using the Prima Mushroom. Um, it'll be salty too. Pepper. But everybody knows pepper's good on cabbage. So put plenty of pepper on it. You're going to melt about five tablespoons of butter. And you're going to pour it on top of it. Yeah, I chose this one because I didn't have to boil the cabbage first, and so it makes it easier. Cheese. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of cheese for the top because um, I'm doing my top a little different than most people. I'm gonna use croissants today. That way when me and Chris pull these out of the oven, we're gonna have a full meal with bread and everything. Now I know a lot of people like to have cornbread when they have brats and cabbage, but we are working in the house today, so I'm doing a shortcut. Here we go. This is our cream mixture. It's gonna go on top. Get you some and make sure it gets down in there. Now we're just gonna open up some croissants. Just use whatever you got. And if you don't have croissants and you don't want to use them and you want to make cornbread, you can use uh, Ritz crackers on the top or just regular crackers tossed in a little bit of melted butter. Either one works. So we're just going to roll these out. Now you could layer, on, layer them on the top and let them be like that, but this is going to be in the oven long enough. I think I can just put them on the top, let them bake. If for some reason you think they're getting too brown since it's going to be on 400 after it cooks and these get brown, we'll put some foil over it. We'll just wait and see how they do. You could bake it for a while and then put these on there, but I'm trying to do one step so that me and Chris can get to work. We're going to slide it in the oven just like this. And it should take these about 40 minutes. It's going to be delicious, y'all. I'm going to let y'all watch it cook, too. And we may cover that once those turn nice and brown and puff up. All right? Hey, I wanted to tell you that the next time I make this casserole, I'm going to mix up a cornbread for two recipe, and I'm going to just dollop it on the top. I don't think I would have to cover it in between, and I think it would be even better with cornbread on the top. So um, just dollop it on the top with a tablespoon, or you can use some croissants or biscuits, just like I did with this one. Whichever one you've got or what you need to do for yourself that night. Alrighty, y'all. These are brown. Good and brown. And the cabbage is starting to get bubbly. And it smells so good in the house. So we're going to take these out. We gotta turn the sausages as well. So we're gonna take it out and cover it good. And then we may uncover it towards the end of the baking time just to make sure that they are crunchy on the top. But I think they will be. So you might wanna bake your casserole halfway, then put your bread on there. Or you can do it like I'm doing it, covering it, because you got to get the rocks out and turn those as well. So that goes back in. I'm going to take these out. And I think it's going to take these a lot longer to cook myself. If you want them nice and brown, just turn them. We're going to slide these back in there. And keep on cooking. We've got our brats out of the oven and on a tray. And we're going to take this out. I 
I removed the foil and then we put a little cheese on it. Looks delicious. So we're going to put two on here. We're going to dip into this. This looks amazing, don't it, Chris? Delicious. It looks amazing. And the cabbage is good and done. Looks delicious. There you have it, y'all. Well, that looks good and I'm hungry. What do you think, Chris? It looks delicious, don't it? Can't wait. All right. This is a delicious dinner. I'm gonna slice me up some of this. We're gonna get us a bite. We got these little rolls we could pick up and eat. It's like sopping up the gravy. Get you a little bit of sausage with it. Good. I'm getting hot too. Now that was an easy dinner, and it's very affordable too. Cheap eats, easy eats, delicious eats. That's really good. So you got the cheese in there, and the nice gravy with your cabbage. And they got lots of, it's got lots of flavor. Mm. From the onion, and you just can't go wrong with a swagger he's brought. Now, these got nice and toasty in the oven because we had them in the aluminum pan. So, this turned out really well. You just need to cover up those croissants. They're still nice and crunchy. Halfway through. They, they're good and done, even on the bottom. You can see they're done. They've just got some gravy on them, but they're done. So, Y'all, this is really good. I hope you enjoyed it. Me and Chris are going to start eating and get back to work. Y'all come back and see us on Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.